let us discuss laplace transform of some standard functions see i have written the very standard formulas of laplace transform obviously these formulas are derived from the definition of laplace transform which we have already covered and several examples also we have seen in previous videos it is just like a derivative in case of derivative also we have already studied the definition of derivative which is defined with the help of limit but see when we actually solve the problems of derivative mostly we use the formulas of derivative similarly when we solve problems of laplace transform we are going to use the these formulas of laplace transform you can easily check all these formulae uh, we can easily derive from the definition of laplace transform let us uh, discuss this formula one by one laplace of 1 is very important which is 1 by s it's very simple formula you should keep in your mind next laplace of e raised to minus 80 is 1 upon s plus a but laplace of e raised to 80 is 1 upon s minus a that means when the power uh, has a minus sign we take a plus sign there and when it has a plus sign we take a minus sign there so this is a unique formula laplace of c raised to 80 we have c and a both of them are constant so its formula is 1 upon s minus a log c so the next one is very important laplace of sin a t okay it is a upon s square plus a square where t is a variable and a is a constant when we have a cos a t we have the same denominator simply we change the numerator which is s similarly you can easily keep you in, a, keep you in your mind the formulas of hyperbolic sin a t and hyperbolic cos a t both have the same formula just instead of plus we have a minus sign between them otherwise the for remaining part of formula are same next one is laplace of t raised to n is gamma n plus 1 upon s raised to n plus 1 so this is a formula when you have t raised to any power n n is any integer getting so we have to use this formula so gamma some properties are gamma are important when we discuss examples definitely we are going to discuss those properties again but if you want in details so my few videos are already on youtube you can search and uh, learn those properties next laplace of t raised to n maybe you will uh, get a surprise that i have written the same left hand side just right hand side formulas are different see the last formula is applicable only for n is a natural number that means t raised to 4 t raised to 5 like that so you have to go for n factorial upon s raised to n plus 1 but if n is other than natural number like 3 by 2 some fractions are there some negative numbers are there then you should go for the second last formula second last formula let us uh, discuss two more formulas uh, before that i suggest you to make a screenshot of it i am adding one more formula here laplace of error of root t it is one type of function having a definition with the which is defined with the help of integration so simply keep in your mind that laplace of error of root t is 1 upon s root s plus 1 okay so i am adding this formula in the list of formulae and see this this is very important property when we solve problems we frequently use this property linearity property that means if addition is there or subtraction is there we take separate separate laplace transform as well as if there are any constants we take them outside just like in case of integration and derivative you know that when addition of two functions we take separate derivatives we take separate integration subtraction also we take separate if there is phi u into f of x phi is a constant we take outside the integration in the same case uh, see in laplace also if there are any constant here i have shown k1 and k2 are constants so that that's why i have taken them outside and we have to apply laplace only on those functions addition was there so that's why i have taken separate separate laplace so these are very important formula and property so you have to by heart all these formula it will hardly take 10 minutes to prepare but it will help you a lot in future getting it will save you plenty of time so take 10 minutes to prepare that and after from next videos we are going to start problems based on this formula and several properties of laplace transform okay we'll meet soon make a screenshot of it and then we'll stop thank you bye bye